Hello people, um, today I'm going to show you how to um, change your computer's IP location and basically that's kind of like a proxy service and many of you don't know. This is useful for when you want to keep your internet privacy and um, when you want to download stuff from the Pirate Bay, it's very useful to use this as they can't tell your real IP address. Okay. So if you click the first link in the description, it'll bring you to a page like this. There's a few lists of um, these proxies. So I'm going to teach you how to use one of them. Now, programs, what they do is they have a huge list of proxies, maybe 200,000, maybe 2 million. I really don't know, but a lot. And what they do is um, automatically change your proxy every one minute or so. Um, so a lot of people can't find those kind of programs or usually get, they cost money. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it manually, but it will not automatically change. All right, so when you're brought to this page, you're going to choose an anonymous proxy. Um, make sure it's anonymous and um, you're gonna choose one that's really far away from you so they're really confused the, the authorities will be very confused and you're gonna copy that um, the number okay then you go to Firefox you go to preferences this works for PCs and Macs. I don't know where the PC's preferences are. And you go to Advanced. You go to Network. Go to Settings. Um, and you're going to press Manual Proxy Configuration. And you're going to just paste that. And you're going to remember this number, 3128, which is already here for me. And once you've done that, you're ready to go. Now, a few side effects with this. Let's say you want to go to google.com. You're going to notice a few very funny things. Okay, my computer tricked itself. It made itself believe that it was actually in Turkey or where, wherever my proxy was, which is pretty funny. Um, no, I think this is Russian. Yeah, this is Russian. Um, so, um, ac no, this is this is Bulgaria. So my computer actually tricked itself. And if you try to search something on Google. Sometimes it might not work. As you can see. Or if you want to gain access to that, you can simply just do this. Then type that in right, I guess. and then you have access to it. The only reason they do that is because they really think it's strange that you're trying to confuse Google since Google has nothing against you. Um, so that's all you need to do. And you'll notice this for a lot of multi-language sites such as YouTube, Yahoo, and Google. But it's fine, you just have to change the language. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped you guys. It sure did help me. As you can see, I am downloading the newest version of Mac, which which cost a hundred dollars for free, and I find it really easy just to do it anonymously. All right, so I hope that vid helped you guys. I know it helped me. If you like this vid and you want to um, get more free vids like these, just subscribe and I'll be happy to make them. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later.
Oh yeah, and just in case if you didn't know how to get it back, um, just simply go to the um, advanced in the preferences for Firefox. Go to settings again, go to network, you know, where you were, where you input all the stuff. And, um, just a sec. Um, go to network settings. And, um, you know where it says manual proxy configuration? Um, just press auto detect proxy settings for this network or no proxy. And then you'll have your old internet back. It won't, um, be messed up. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, hope this helped.